my name is Ruth Knott and I'm the Director of Education for San Francisco Opera and it's a new department at the Opera House. Love Opera is something that I was introduced to as a kid. I grew up in a family where it was just everywhere. It was part of how we grew up and so when I run into students, children, families, adults that have never been introduced to it or and have typically the stereotype of oh I don't like it because it's a fat lady singing I really feel sad that they haven't had that opportunity to be introduced to it at a young age and learn what it really is, which is really a great story. And then you take it and you blow it up into a beautiful picture, a live picture that sets in costumes and beautiful music and acting. And I love that it so many, represents so many of the art forms that are out there. This was even um, kind of a last minute opportunity <laughs> that we had the chance to, in a local way, bring students into seeing opera at the Castro Theater. Uh, let me give you a little background on the Castro Theater. The Castro Theater has been here since 1922, was built in 1922 and opened that year. It is still owned and operated by the original Nasser family who built the theater. And uh, they've been operating the theater for 85 years, at 86 years now. And um, it has been, it was originally a silent movie palace. And we are uh, uh, now, of course, into sound films and big screen films and, and 70 millimeter films. And we are a, what they call a rep house. We run classic films along with new films and um, we've been doing that for a long time. Uh, the Castro Theater has played host to many film festivals and still does on a regular basis, special events and uh, a special event for us is the San Francisco Opera. With the simulcasts and the cinemacasts we're reaching a whole new audience of people both adults and children I believe that have never potentially never seen opera before. Um. We found two different types of schools, either one where they were studying opera kind of anyway, and so then they could really get a chance to see it, the art form that they were learning about. And we found another set of schools that were really, you know, these students were maybe even high school students, and they've never ever seen opera before. I personally love it because um, it tells so much about what really happens in life because lots of people can relate to this from um, her point of view and from his point of view because lots, lots of people actually do do this and um, it's a beautiful play. Great. Oh no, opera is too loud. <laughs> it's too loud. It's too high. I'm a, I'm a soprano, but they, it's not they be singing falsetto. That's death is too high. I'm gonna stick to pop and R and B. Right. Yeah, I guess the uh, closest thing to to this that I've been to was a uh, I think it was a Broadway musical in England. Oh, okay. And it was uh, about two brothers that like separated at birth and they ended up like, killing each other in the end. It was it was actually really interesting. So I can't wait to see this. As more and more people experience watching opera in the in the cinema cast at the uh, Castro Theater um, um, the the attendance will grow and and word will get around and um, I think this will be a very very successful uh, venture for everybody so are you looking forward to the second act yes. yeah. do you think you'd go back and see another opera after this one yes. Well, I, I love opera, but I don't think it's like today's kind of kind of take. You know? But I, I do love it. I would like to try out opera because it's part of our culture.